Yikes. <laughs> Alright, let's not croak this run. Three, two, one. That was like a slime tear pun right there. Oh yeah, well, if you're six, pretty much everything is fun. As I have recently realized by going back through some of the uh, games I used to play in 2004. <laughs> but of course I'm not one to talk because I still play the same game that I played when I was six, and I am currently <laughs> rivaling Tass in it, so you know. <laughs> These things happen, I suppose. A little bit sloppy, but we can run it back. I've never seen a duplicate frog tip, no. Considering they have uh, over 2,000 frog tips, it's pretty difficult to get a duplicate. I think maybe one time I might have seen a duplicate, but uh, I don't remember. Ooh, good luck, Kara. I hope you do. Your frog cannot play Wonderwall. Stop asking it. Every frog tip is a brand new experience, my friend. Getting the seven coins right there is such a tease because you collect eight to get the bonus. But it doesn't really really matter in this game if you get the bonus or not. Especially in this run. Like under other circumstances I might have to collect, um, I think it's 150 coins. Nice, got that cycle. Can't ever get that one though. There we go. So we take the farmland's path. Okay. Menu correctly here. There we go. Vampire Weekend songs, let's go. All you have to do to win this game is stand still and flick your tongue over and over. It's a good game. Quality video games at work. Anyway, you have to win this game to gain access to the alternate path that you have to take. Swamp these guys. to these levels very often outside of this run, so uh, might be a bit sloppy, but we'll make it through. Here we go. And now we play Fire from the Game & Watch series. The highly acclaimed Game of the Year, Fire. You thank you for the host, Abra. Shout out to Abra238. You are a cool dude. Also, I forgot I was going to turn down the volume of those alerts. Oh well.
Yeah, it's called Butte. Get your lore right. Respect the lore. But yeah, that that is an important oversight right there. Fun fact, I used to live next to the Butte Mountain Range. So trust me, I know how those are pronounced. You can miss up to three kittens here, by the way, but it's faster actually not to miss any kittens. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, heck. There's the first damage of the run. Which normally I would use the damage boost right there, but uh, that's fine. Puzzle time. Let's not suck at this like it did last time. Good grief, what have I done? I'm supposed to do this. Good grief. This perspective kind of messes with me though. True top-down frogger in this game doesn't really jive with me. <laughs> but we got it done. That's the worst puzzle right there. So all the ones from here on out are going to be a lot smoother sailing. For example, this is all you have to do here. Barely a puzzle at all. There we go. Ah, there we go. This one's just long and boring, but it's pretty simple. little lull in the action. How has everyone's day been so far? I hope yours was good. I had a, a dental cleaning, so that was interesting. Fortunately, no issues. I was told on three separate occasions that I have great hygiene, so that's nice. That's, uh, that's about it with me. Oh, and then I came home and did buku college work. So that was a thing, too. music driving you crazy yet? <laughs> yeah. 
Yo, let's go, Abra. Congratulations. Also, welcome to the stream. There's the last switch. Now we can vamoose. Wow, double damage there. What am I doing? Okay, now my my foolishness might cost me. Okay, got an apple. That's good. There we go. Nice gold. Hey, look. All right. Time for inflate a toad. Fortunately, I can heal up right here like that. And one more right here. Back to full. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm taking a little bit of a break from toy trials. I decided to, um, actually per request of a fan from my a YouTube page, I decided to route three characters. So what this route does um, is take you through every single possible playable character in the game. It's actually a pretty cool category. You get to see the most of the game with this category. See me roll. Okay, that was fast right there. That was good. That was really, really good. It's like Frogger, but it's not Frogger. The thought to pluck it. Trying to get to the U.S. Boy, this is becoming more interesting by the second. Let me get off on this one to avoid the damage by the bat. I forgot to do that last time. There we go. And that's how you do this level. Nice bit of lag there. Alright, we have to control Lumpy with the stylus now. Sorry if I'm a bit radio silent right now, because this requires quite a bit of focus, because that can happen. Darn, it was not fast enough. game like this, 
also nice. That hole just kind of swallows you sometimes. I don't know how to prevent it. And that's 120 right there. So not a bad time. Yeah, it's touchscreen. You, it, you gotta use the DS for touchscreens, don't you know? <laughs> Surely it is the height of video game. The height of video game apparel. Gonna take this hit for the iframes. Worth. There's a really tight cycle that I might be able to make if I do this part perfectly, but it takes um, super hopping as well, like this. Well, I'm not gonna get it with that RNG. Darn. Hey, Chroma. How are things? What is shaking, as the kids say? Good, looks like we made the cycle anyway. That's great. Wait, what happened? You're worrying me, dude. Is there something wrong? Or is it about net neutrality? Yeah. Um, actually about that. Apparently that's happened twice before. And it got, uh, it got blocked each time. I don't know how, like, accurate that is, but, uh, there, there are actually still two, two more steps until it actually gets repealed. This is just, like, the go-ahead to get it repealed, so. I mean, I don't know. But, if, I mean, if it does, of course, then, you know, I, I reflect the sentiment. However, until then, I'm holding out hope, because there's always hope. Either way, it sucks. Even the threat of it is bad enough, dude. But yeah, for a second there, I thought it was, like, something personal. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I, I, all I can do is just hope, you know? And call, of course. You know, calling and telling everyone who can make a difference to make a difference. In the end, it's not our decision, but, uh, we can sure help influence things. Oh yeah, this is kind of like the, the bear boss, isn't it? Similar properties, actually. Like the uh, the crumbling platforms. <coughs> Excuse me. See, even though this is a waiting game, it's still stressful because we're one wrong input, like most of the game can just screw you up completely. Especially when it comes to using the ball form.
Yeah, this is bootleg Crash Bandicoot right here for sure. This is, however, in my opinion, the best music in the game. Actually, you know something silly is that um, one of my favorite songs um, by Ren under the May Mayhem Ali alias called Nintendo actually uses the same chord progression in even the same key. Yeah, and decent I would agree with. Like that's the best you're gonna get. No, I didn't want to go to the caravan. I do that every time. I forget about the caravan. So now I actually have to start tapping continue on the touch screen to optimize movement. Let's see, jungle, right? Can we do jungle? Let's go. But yeah, um, decent is pretty much the best this game ever gets in any respect. <laughs> So if you can settle from anywhere from bad to mediocre, this is the perfect game for you. Trademark. Where do I go? I go this way. Good. I'm gonna take this tank this hit because it takes forever to wait for that guy. Probably faster overall, even though I might have to waste some something, some time. Also went the wrong way there, so I have to damage boost again. But as long as I get out of here alive, I have plenty of healing items coming up soon. Trademark. I'm using that trademark meme way too much. So I used a little trick here that um, I should really coin a phrase for. Just, just kind of like queuing my hops, because if you stop hopping for too long in this game, you will, um, you will have to wait for the first hop to fully complete before you can do another one. So if you just constantly stay hopping, you won't get that cooldown, and you can start hopping immediately again. And why did I do that? Huh, yeah, bit crushing. It's nasty. Okay, made it to the healing items. Let's go. Yoink. No longer in an imminent danger. Another one. And another one. Not gonna risk that. There we go. Okay, almost backed up the full now. Checkpoint. Who's that? Wrist it for the biscuit. Dip. That doesn't really work. Boom. Hop, hop. Hop to it. I forgot to go this way and I took damage. That's great. Oh, come on, it got stuck on the wall and I have to wait for another cycle now. Last run, I spent a lot of time trying to get that apple for safety over there. But this time I just forewent it. I'm gonna get this one instead. Oh man. I swear there's a super fast way through these. 
that you don't take any damage with. It's kind of like momentum, yeah. Except, uh, it's like a, a buffer. Like, after you press the button, it kind of, like, checks to make sure that you wanted to go that direction. It's, it's like a fail-safe for people who don't play Frogger, like, for a living. Of which there are a few, believe it or not, who do not. The Vine game is strong here. If I stick to the left right there, it's way easier. It's good to know. I feel like this puzzle was kind of broken by the fact that you can super hop. But the devs didn't take that into consideration when they made it. And that's the level. That's probably the fastest I've ever done that level. Yes, it is. There we go. Gingerbread house time. Low key at the best level. <laughs> Rip Kara then. Yeah. A while back, I, uh. I had, like, a collection of. Probably very bad, but very special to me at the time. CD-ROM games. That were like on this one Mega Pack CD that was totally bootleg. It was like a bunch of Winnie the Pooh characters plastered on the front. And I had Disc 1, which was purple, and Disc 2, which was pink. And it was like cheap printed on like matte paper label. It was like the, the, the Windows Kids Entertainment Pack. Disc 1, full of games, and Disc 2, full of screensavers. <laughs> it's just so, so weird thinking back on it now. Wow, look at that, I desynced for the first time in a long time. So if you notice, there was one coin left over from that string. That's because I went too fast. Also, that was a really, really good train section. <laughs> Super good. Oh, oh, wow. That was a super good gingerbread house. We keep this glob train rolling. Alright, best boss. I can really pay attention to the chat right now because this boss is terrible at winning. I agree, Chroma. Every video game definitely needs this. can take a break for 10 seconds. Also to note is that if you turn as, um, <clears throat> like if you press L or R to turn during this phase, or actually, during any phase, during this boss, your hitbox will schloop back to behind the platform and get hit by whatever attack is being placed. So that, like, that glitch right there is actually the, the highest source of risk during this fight.
Also, yeah, it's it's another auto scroller. You just have to wait until he runs out of dough, I guess. I mean, I guess this is dough. Also, he always gets me with that one. I always forget about that one. This is also probably the worst music. He's not hitting me because his hitboxes suck. That's why. So do his attacks. <laughs> You know something I should question, but really haven't? Why do the, um, why do the little blue fuzz spiky bugs make <laughs> noises? What, what's up with that? <laughs> what is that? Oops. <laughs> there it is. Ah, fool. Which is me. Gosh dang it. No reason to get that, but I still got it anyway. <laughs> An educational kids game is a very good way to describe that music. I can totally hear that. This is the companion game to Ancient Shadow, actually, Chromo. So your, um, your thoughts are well-founded in that uh, regard. <clears throat> they were both released at the same time, in 2005. I don't need to go this way, I need to go this way. Imagine going the right way. Funny, isn't it? There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Ah. Boy, this these glods. <laughs> Let's go. And now we're in the factory. This is where the route officially splits. Oopsie. focus a little bit for this level because some stuff is weird to work with. I go the other way. I keep doing that. It's not until later you go up the uh, up door. Let me call him for a 105.43 yet. Let's see. We'll just see about that. <laughs> got, mm, got me for a 710. Alright, 10710. I'm gonna hold you guys to this. Let us just see. I'm, I'm I'm interested to see how many gods in a row that is now. Yep, 
Yep, massive orange soda right there. Thick, as one might say. I'm so sorry. Take this path to put us on the berry route. Yes, I am. What the heck? There we go. I almost messed that up again. And here comes the secret exit. Y'all ready? Secrets! <laughs> yep. Accurate. Can confirm. Alright, berry levels. Oh joy. Wow! Alright. So for those of you who know about my Toy Trials runs. You might recognize this section. I'm not gonna risk it this time. Again, this part I'm not very used to, so you'll have to forgive me if I do not pay attention to chat for a little bit. I went the wrong way. Let's go. Hey, Jayhawker. This is Barry. Not a very popular character, or at least very well known. Can you stop rolling, please? You stop rolling, please. Screw it. We're damage boosting. Getting all the safety right here. This this um this character experienced a very short life cycle. I think she was in like three games at the most. Probably two actually. Nice RNG. <laughs> that was messy. Food, let's go. I'm sorry I'm missing chat a little bit, but uh, I saw food, so that's important. Also, there's a good skip right there, in case... I hope you didn't blink. Oh, I double tapped. You know what, let's, let's restart this and get back my lives. Do not worry, this is not a true game over, this is just me restarting with full health. We don't need a level, where are we going? Start 
forgot to turn around right there. That's fine, we made it work. This game was in no way meant to break like this, by the way. How intentional it looks, though. Probably could have kept going there, but that's fine. You just skip that, too. <laughs> Ain't got time for you shenanigans. Remember the strat here. Pretty good so far. Yep, we good. No! Don't want to do that. That's bad. Fun fact, dying is bad. Just in case you didn't know that. I'm at one health! Heck, please. I think you can do this. Yes, I can. Shoot. There we go. <laughs> we made it work. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, first try each time. Kinda. Right, I'm going to die right here because this is impossible with one health. Literally, one in one possible with unhealth. No, not rip 105. I think you can make 105. Sub one. <laughs> Let's go. We're going for the sub one, guys. <laughs> sub one is not possible, by the way. <laughs> That's the the speed of the fastest route, right there. I barely got a 57, I think. does suck. Like, really bad. And so does the music. Good RNG here, though. Nice. Okay, we got this in the bag. <laughs> Famous keyboard cat. Yeah, same dude. GDQ robust for this one. There we go. There we have it. Sweet. What was that? That gave me just the dialogue box four times for no reason. What the heck? Alright, did we do it? 
Yes, we did. We're on the wild platform version. This is the one we want to be on. Also, I should probably get my lives back. One second. <laughs> it really would, Jay. And that's really easy to do, by the way, Kuromo. <laughs> this game is not stable in the slightest. It can even screw up your save file by, uh... Okay, this is slow. <sighs> you can even screw up your save file by um, mashing too hard on the uh, on the game over screen right there. So you have to be kind of careful. I'm not gonna lie though, I would love to run this at a GDQ. Alright, I guess I'm tanking that hit. Well, shoot. I'm gonna focus. I apologize for lack of interaction during this period. However, I can assure you it's for the good of all of us. Except the ones who are dead. Now there's no use crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. And the science gets done and we have a good gun. For the people who are still alive. <laughs> That's the best meme. Like, unironically, good meme right there. I just instinctually grab money. This is the problem. Okay, if I if I don't screw up the strat here, we are in the green. Or the gold, shall we say. Just gonna do my usual here. Not green. Not gold, rather. We were in the green. How about that? Okay, RNG. Can we get some blessed RNGs in the chat? We really need it right now. So this is completely RNG. Also, if I, if I get hit once, I die. So that's bad. So I'm not going to look at chat at all right now. Because we have a good start here, and I don't want to blow it. This is the worst fight, by far. I agree. It's going quickly, though. Which is good. We want it to go as fast as possible. Of course. <laughs> this is a speedrun, after all.
So yeah, I'm just gonna focus. That right there is why. That that is exactly why I want to pay attention to this because of these ceiling ceiling things. There's another one. All right, three more machines. We can do this. Just over two minutes on the clock. Bad RNG right there. Okay, I'm gonna need you to go to the other corners. Also, I almost hacked myself twice just then. My brain died for a second. Come on! Come on! Dude. Do the thing! The other thing! Thank you. That's gonna hit two of them. Do that again. Thank you! <gasps> that was a great fight. That actually ties Tass. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and get back my life now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would be great if I could manipulate that fight. Good grief. Also, thanks for the best RNGs and the sour, please. They both really help out the stream. Yeah, Tass got exactly three minutes in that minigame. Although I know it can be done in like one and a half minutes. <laughs> minigame, what am I saying? It's a boss. Oh man, I overhopped there, but that could have been damageless just then. Nice, got again. I didn't used to go for those, but uh, I found a kind of consistent strat for them. So they're they're not only easy, but a lot of fun now. Should have super hopped to this platform. Oh well, my cycles are going to be slow here, but that's fine. Or maybe not? Yeah, no, they're going to be slow. Wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Nope, we're good. Lost zero time. Yeah. <laughs> like, that. that is a little bit of charm that they threw in. Into the game, for sure. It's pretty great. Also, they're canonically, um, crocodiles. Because Dr. Wani is the, um, the leader of these fellas. Oh, by the way, we are now on a three-minute timer, but we aren't really, because it's fake. It's one of those legendary fake timers. Also, you have to take damage there. You didn't have to take damage there, though. Forgot what I was explaining. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Crocodiles. These are, uh, these are crocs. I'm gonna go this way to get the extra safety. Anyway, uh, Wani is Japanese for crocodile. And also Wani is a crocodile.
It's a good character design, though, in my opinion. Wow! Did you see that? The, the, the map didn't load. That's, that's good video games right there. That's really high-quality stuff. I gotta say. Konami really hit it out of the park with the did-not-load aesthetic. Also, these crocs are really hecky right now. There's a spot up here where you have to damage boost to make a reasonable time. Nice. So I'm gonna save some health here. Almost there, guys. Almost heck in there. Alright, right here. Damage boost. Sick. And we're on the end game. Nice, got wrecked by RNG. This is the final boss, by the way. No, wrong move. Thank you. Hold on. Oh. Time. That's time. The airship fell to its GG. The frogger we got sub one. Log and himself ashore <laughs> to safety. As for Dr. Wani, he was left on a deserted island to whittle away the rest of his days in shame. Yeah, yeah, same thing every game. The good guys are safe and happy, and the bad guys lose. Well, not this time. I'll be back, but for now, I'll leave you with this. Send in the weasels! Oh, read it again, great Grandpa Phineas. Read it again, please. If you promise to be a good boy tomorrow, the story will have a different ending. <laughs> uh -oh. So, that's that, I guess. <laughs> what the heck? Just 16 minutes out of nowhere. So yeah, um, let me go ahead and cap catch up on chat, because I wanted to respect that cutscene as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, I said it was it wasn't possible. I just completely made a liar out of myself. Um, okay, so that last split was the final boss. That was actually Dr. Wani. The previous one was Dr. Wani's airship that I traversed through with the self-destruct and everything. So that's why there are two uh, Wani splits. Hey, King Guy. How's it going? Just in time to see my most recent PB in my most recent category. In my most recent speed game. And, uh, yeah, the baby frog voice is a little bit, uh, a little bit strange. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as far as the 38... Plus 38 seconds there on the last split. I don't know what's up with that. I might have forgotten to delete a bad gold. Yeah. I, I really have no idea what's up with that. In any case, um, that's that, I guess. Oh, you know what happened? I know exactly what happened. Yeah, I should. I uh, mislabeled the final split. And it's actually the split that I skipped in the previous run. And so that's why it has a gold of like two seconds. So I'll go ahead and delete that. <laughs> but yeah, good run. That was a really, really good run. 
go ahead and export these to Splitzio. Yeah, in, in the first run I had of this game, I thought I had to go through three Dr. Wani stages, but I only had to do two, so I skipped the second one, and then deleted the third one. And apparent, apparently, uh, I'm using the what used to be the second one for the last one right now, and it has a two-second gold, so... <laughs> yeah, thank you, Chromo. That was, uh, quite a journey. Then go ahead and... Shoot. I just, uh, I just closed the splits. Well, rip splitsy, I guess. But that's fine. Yeah, that was that was quite Frogger's journey indeed. The forgotten helmet. Anyway, I have proof. I have video proof, so that's plenty of <laughs> plenty of evidence right there. <laughs> Uncle Wani. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Jay. Hey, it's some of that PB juice. I could run it again and submit those. I don't know if I want to, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm really happy with this. I didn't have any, like, really bad mistakes. I kind of clutched out, like, I got a really good Ronin. I got a really good, um, crocodile boss. So, like, I really clutched things out this time. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call that good for Helmet Chaos 3 characters for now. Um, and then I'll just wait for 